Hi all, this is Chidambaram. Today we are going to discuss about dependent parameter in Arc Labs concurrent program. Here, I have created four parameters. First parameter one, one, two, three. These three parameters using the same value set CDM or the fourth parameter item. The based on this three arg we have selected those arg related item which should be extracted then this would be unique in fourth parameter this is the one we are going to achieve it these things we can achieve it through two ways one way is using the dollar flex dollar dot value set name other way is dollar flex do dollar dot parameter name this is a two option is available for dependent parameter in concurrent program so here we will discuss r1 is using xdm org 2 also using same this is a value set 3 also using same value set fourth is using different value set item vs this item vs derived from arg1 arg2 arg3 this is the things we are going to achieve it so we we can go and check it that all value sets value set definitions go to arg value set this is a table type of value set open this arg organization definition is the base table we are selecting the organization id organization code organization name this arg id just uh, instead of running all organization definitions just I am extracting few organization only. This is the query I have used there. So as of now, 3, 4, 5, 6, 7. 7, uh, seven organizations I have selected in this first value set. Okay. Second value set is item value set. This item value set is dependent on first value set. Just to query that. second value set so I as I said the second value set uh, second value set I mean the fourth parameter should extract only the unique item details but as per, as per oracle logic we can assign the same item to multiple organizations so if we are selecting the same if the one item is there that item is tagged assigned to arg1 and arg2 while we are if we are using just like that in this fourth parameter we will get the duplicate record of item num item name so avoiding those things i have created that view based on i have created the view using that view i have excluded the duplicate items so this is the this is the view i have created just to querying that view here organization id is there so we will get the duplicate record for avoiding the duplicate record i have used one one view I select distinct segment one description and inventory item id from table name this is the one i am using so we always item number description inventory item id should be say should be unique if you add organization id by the time only it will duplicate it so uh, we are away i am avoiding that organization id and using those three unique values and uh, top of that i put distinct then selected segment one description here i am checking i am i am this where class this is the where class as i said first one is dollar flex value set name we are testing the dollar flex value set name this is the value set so uh, the thing is just using value value set first value set second third so using that value set name and trying to retrieve the data so the this is the where class i have used it 
so try to retrieve the data go to the payable manage payable vision operation view request new request cdm so first organization id be1 second one is cwh third one is and uh, third one is ATH. So just to try to select that item. Here we, we are getting 1, 2, 3, 4, 5. Here also the count is there. Choice in list is 5. Count is 5 is coming. So we can check it whether this item is belongs to the 3 op, three org. I already wrote on the query. VTH B1 C WF. So three thing is there just to query the data so total is eight cover eight record is coming but here the total is five record is coming the thing the, the thing is if you are using value set name in the in the where class this value set always using using that immediate preceding values here so it will always use this one it will not use the, the with the last options so we can go and check it vth data now five record is there so here also five record even the same record will be there black p2p everything is same the item also same so we can test it other way just removing this item and try to select the value in item it will throw error because of I said as I said it always try to use that immediate preceding value set here here we are using the value set arg or value set it try to use it here so this we are did we didn't select it anything so it here it throwing error so this is the this is the drawback in this value using value set name so we can achieve those issue those we can achieve those things in their parameter variable name just to close it close it close close go to the application developer open the value set create This is a table type of value set. Here, instead of wherever I am using the value set name, here I am using uh, parameter name. Parameter 1, parameter 2, parameter 3. Here also, just to copy it. test it test it yeah successfully tested open evolution operation view request test test cdm just to select it same values b1 cw h v th now total of 8 record we are getting so and go and check the same values so total of we are getting 8 record so we will get that we, so we are getting all records here so this is the way we can achieve it even you can change it to all values to pdh check the data so it uh, the value will be changing here here also we can check it vth so eight record we are getting so vth here also use vth 
certificate record is getting instead of VTH we can use it some other values check it values we can put null values yeah here in the null here the three value only b1 check it wrong I'll put wrong value b1 three record is there so here we can select it any you can give it any null values also it will accept it when we but you should use that parameter name in this dependent value sets where class so even you can remove it all values select the record yeah b is executed is null null yes, error fill executed so we should definitely we need to select in at least one values b1 check the value remove it here go and check b1 the three value is coming this record is coming correctly now so this is the way we can achieve it through the dependent para multiple de multiple dependent parameter using that value set as well as um, parameter name thank you for watching that video